brain tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has started to finalize the next up and coming optional bug fix C release update for the month of September 2022. And as I always say on the channel, these updates roll out near the end of every month. And they are called C release updates because Microsoft, give or take, rolls them out on the third week of every month. So that means we can expect the update to start rolling out as an optional bug fix update for Windows 10. Um, any time from, I would say, Tuesday next week um, towards the end and through to the end of the month. Now, although they um, are sp supposed to roll out on the third week of every month, I, I've known them to be rolled out um, in the last week of the month and also sometimes into the first week of the next month. That's why I, would, I always say it's just safe to mention that they rolled out near the end of every month. So that's just the safest, in my opinion. Now, um, if we head over to the release notes, um, it was rolled out to the release preview channel insiders, which is the closest version and build you will get before Microsoft makes it available to the general public. And this was made available to the release preview channel on the 15th of September. And that was with update KB5017380, which will be that next bug fix C release update rolling out near uh, the end of this month in just a couple of days. And it will bump the build up to uh, 19044.2075. And that will be for Windows 10 version 21H2, which is the current stable release. So if we head to Winver, currently version 21H2's OS build is 19044.2006. So as mentioned, that will be bumped up to 19044.2075 when this update does roll out. And you and, and that's if you do decide to install the update, as these updates are optional. Now, just to go through the release notes quickly, there are one, two, three, four, five new features. And um, just to go through the first one here, um, they've turned off Transport Layer Security TLS 1 and 1.1 by default in Microsoft browsers and applications. And then there's two here regarding the news and interests feed uh, for Windows 10. Uh, the first is they've provided the ability to search for the controls for news and interests on the taskbar and modify them using the settings app. So to change your settings, navigate to settings, personalization, taskbar, news and interests. Otherwise, just right click the taskbar and select taskbar settings. So it looks like there's an option going to be made available in the settings um, for the news and interests feed in the taskbar personalization page. And then another one here, which I actually think um, might be of interest to a lot of users. Um, they are now supporting all taskbar orientation orientations for news and interests. Um, that's the a top left, a top left or right taskbar now has features and settings much like the horizontal taskbar. So currently, in case you're unaware, news and uh, new, the news and interests feed is only available for Windows 10 currently when the taskbar is at the bottom of the screen. So um, when this update does roll out, you will have the option to use new news and interests when you're using it on the left, the right, or at the top. So I think that will be a step in the right direction. But they do say much like the horizontal taskbar. So maybe not all the features will be available um, in those other orientations. Um, but otherwise, nonetheless, as I said, a step in the right direction. And then, yeah, they've introduced web authentication redirection um, it lets you authenticate in apps and on websites without a password when you use remote desktop and then the last new um, feature they've introduced um, the functionality that lets you use Azure Active Directory authentication to sign into Windows using remote desktop so two new little add-ons and improvements for remote desktop now just to have a look at um, some of the uh, little bug fixes that have rolled out as there are too many to mention in this video but I just have highlighted one or two as this is a bug fix update. Um, there was an issue that required you to reinstall an app if the Microsoft Store had not signed that app. That has been addressed, fixed an issue that stops codecs from being updated from the Microsoft Store. So that's two fixes for the Microsoft Store. Um, fixed a rare stop error that happens after you change the display mode and more than one display is in use. Uh, fixed an issue that might change the default printer if the printer is a network printer. And then if we head down yet to the bottom, there's one or two here, three or four left. Um, there was an issue that affects the rendering of the search box. Um, it wasn't rendering properly if you sign in using tablet mode. And that's the search box you get in the taskbar. And they fixed that issue. And um, there was a known issue that affected XML um, paper specifications, XPS viewers. 
that has been finally addressed because that's been a known issue now for quite some time. And then another known issue that's been reported in the media is they fixed a known issue that affects daylight saving time in Chile. And uh, that they say uh, this issue might affect the time and dates used for meetings, apps, tasks, services, transactions and more. And these last two have been known issues for Windows 10 for quite some time now. So it looks like finally those two are getting addressed. So just a quick uh, preview of what we can expect to be rolling out um, in the next couple of days over the next week or two with update KB 5017380 for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.